still goalless here at uh, Brentford's new stadium. Great ball there. Great touch by Buendia, who's through on goal. What can he do with this? Emi Buendia cuts inside. Can he score? No! Puts it over the bar. Great touch by Emi Buendia. Turned inside on the six-yard line. He was very close and then blazed it over the bar. But I think he's got a touch on the way through. Defender made... Well, I don't know if it's a goalkeeper or defender, but they made a great save or a great block. Good news for Norwich City. They're going backwards all the way back to their centre half in the middle of the pitch and then they find some space on the left hand side Rico Henry is tackled well by Emi Buendia what can Norwich do here Buendia plays the ball into Rupp just outside the box into Vrancic outside the box strikes one just wide oh there you go Mario Vrancic called up into the starting lineup after a couple of brilliant substitute performances and a couple of brilliant goals as well Vrancic is asking for it he's got a bit of space bouncing around another starter goes to Cantwell who plays it through the legs of a Brentford player but Brentford have got it back on in the attack here Buemo inside the box lays it across to Tony and that is the first goal of the evening and it's for Brentford Norwich City losing the ball in midfield and within 10 seconds or so, Brentford had pounced down this right-hand side, getting in behind the Canary defence and then laying it through to the man who scored seven goals already this season. He makes it number eight. It's Brentford 1, Norwich City 0. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. I think Norwich just need to... Like I said earlier, we, that was the wake-up call. I think the ball comes out wide to... Is it... Mambolo. I think he crosses it in for an easy an easy pass, well, an easy square ball into Ivan Tony. He just obviously stretches and manages to get a toe on it. And Yeah, there's nothing much uh, Krul could do. It looks like it's going to be uh, Sorensen, Mad Sorensen, the centre-half, to come and take this one. That, of course, means he'd be out of position um, when he takes the throw. But he doesn't take a long one. He comes backwards to Jensen, who then plays a ball into the box. The big men are still there, and that's a great save by... Oh, my word, that's a fantastic save by Tim Krull. It looked like it was going to be an easy header at the far post for Tony. It was a great save by Krull. The danger wasn't over. That's why I held my breath for a second, because I thought there was going to be another shot on goal, but it hit the side netting. That's another massive let-off for Norwich City. It's a fantastic save by, by Krull. Uh, you can see the ball being, being uh, crossed from the, from the left-hand side right to the back post. And... Obviously headed back into the right-hand post and then obviously Krul just obviously full stretch. Buendia is going to take this one. Right hand goes in the air. He takes it right-footed towards the penalty spot. Is there a head on it? There is a Norwich head and it goes over. That was a brilliant chance for Grant Hanley who got plenty on it and it just went over the top of the bar. Yeah, Grant, I, from Grant Handley, I think I'll probably be bitterly disappointed. Of, obviously, he's got kind of like a free header. All he has to do is get it on target and it's a goal. But, you know, Buendia putting a fantastic ball into the uh, to centre of the box can maybe give the goalkeeper a real something to think about. Brentford, despite their lead, as Norwich give the ball away to them. Maybe a bit of space over on the right-hand side as the ball is delivered in towards the centre. Tony's under it. He gets the ball down. Good save by Tim Krull. Oh, wow. Norwich City almost undone again. It's the second time uh, Krull has made a great save from, uh, from a close distance. That's a big let-off from Norwich. Can they make it pay the opposite way? You know, surely Norwich must think they have a chance. They, they definitely had a chance in this similar uh, sort of position about two minutes ago. So let's see. Ball is delivered by Emi Buendia. Plenty of heat on it. Loads of Norwich players forward. And how did that miss everybody? Oh, it was curling towards the goal. It just needed something, someone to get a touch wearing any colour shirt. And it doesn't. And it goes out for a goal kick. We're just going to see the replay. Plenty of juice on it from Emi Buendia and it looked like Hugel actually got the closest in the end that's missed everybody and then go backwards looking for an option Sorensen lays it around the corner looks for Emi Buendia and then there's a touch to Aarons can he deliver? No he can't it's blocked by Jan out but he manages to get it back Vrancic has the ball now Norwich City just going sideways rather than forwards at the moment Buendia, he tries to play a ball in. Good touch there by McLean. And then there's a deflection, and it's gone in. I've no idea who that came off, but it doesn't matter because Norwich City are on terms. Brentford have defended so well, really, and it's just a case of if you don't buy a ticket, you don't score a goal. Norwich did so. It's Kenny McLean who gets a shot away outside the box. A wicked deflection. Goalkeeper was scrambling for it. It goes in. It's Brentford 1, Norwich 0. It's fantastic. Norwich, obviously, Brendia played a fantastic ball into Kenny McLean, and he's had time to turn and shoot with his left foot. It just takes a def uh, deflection into the... Uh off the Brentford defender and he goes into the into the corner but like you said if you don't shoot you don't score 